Hi everybody, it is uh, Wednesday, February 1st. I am in Amarillo, Texas uh, with Lyle Lovett. Uh, we just played um, two nights in uh, to start the, uh, the six-week tour we were on uh, in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Shows went great, it was really fun um, playing. I mean, it's so interesting for me, I've only toured with Lyle uh, doing the large band and all of a sudden we are down to a four-piece with Lyle. And uh, it's really interesting, just the dynamics and the and the, the colors weaving in and out between just four of us. Um, but it's great, it's uh, because it's the incredible Jim Cox on keyboards and Luke Bulla on vocals and and violin and um, Jeff White uh, on vocals and um, mandolin and guitar and then Lyle singing and playing guitar. So it's it's pretty cool, you know, no drums, you know, no horns, no. Nothing. I mean, it's really amazingly stripped down, but really good. I'm really loving it. So we, we drove all night after the uh, second Santa Fe show and got here to Amarillo. And then after the show tonight, we drive to El Paso. So we are, we're going to be hauling for, uh, for the next uh, six weeks. So it's going to be fun. But I thought, and I'll do a, a today, I didn't do a, um, a walkthrough of the venue yesterday because it was second night and we had done the I had done that the night before but today when we get to the uh, venue here in Amarillo I'll check it out and then maybe do a walk through with that and show you where we are um but I thought I'd throw up a little music here and uh I just uh it's I, I enjoy going back to my dear friend Steve Lukather um I worked on his solo album called Lukather uh, back in 1989. I had been working with Steve since he was about 19 years old and I've worked on all of his different projects over the years and, and had the honor of you know touring with Toto a couple of times and, uh, uh, and this album was interesting though he got so many people involved in, on this one which was really really great uh, so there's a, a huge variety of players I'm going to take a look here like on, on one of the songs, you know, Eddie Van Halen's playing bass. He's got Carlos Vega on drums. He's got Lenny Castro, Neil Steubenhaus playing bass on stuff here. Uh, Prairie Prince playing drums. Tommy Price, Will Lee, John Pierce, Jeff Picaro, Randy Jackson. I mean, there's like a huge amount of guys. Like each one has a track or two. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and play a song that I worked on here called Turns to Stone. And... Uh, the drum programming on this was by Randy Goodrum, who Steve co-wrote the song with. It's me on bass and Luke on guitar and Luke on synth uh, and Randy Goodrum on synth. And the background vocals are Randy Goodrum and John Key, uh, John Keen. So I'm going to go ahead and just play this track. It's a really beautiful orchestrated track here. I'm going to see if there's, see if there's any additional info here. Because it's got a, another credit here where it's got Danny Korch on it. has got Cooch doing some synthesizer drum programming too. So, um, not sure. But let's go ahead and listen to this track though. It's really a beautiful track. So this is called Turns to Stone from Steve Lukather's uh, first solo album called Lukather. Here we go. Let me get that downbeat here. echo in those days. So open up the door for me. 
perfect. Really, the, all the sonics of that really define that that period of time. And then, you know, there's really a lot of saturation of echo and stuff. And drum programming was pretty great on that, though. Really good. Yeah, I love working with Luke. I mean, I've known Luke, like I said, for so long now. And every time I get together with him to play, it's just a, it's a treat. He is a remarkably gifted musician, and uh, and a dear dear friend. Um, <clears throat> I also wanted just to, to acknowledge, and it really broke my heart when I heard it. When you get out here on the road, it's where you start to lose track with everything going on in the world. You really get into this zone, you know, you're like really right there and focusing on songs and the show and, and just dialing it all in, especially at the beginning of it. But the other day when I heard that Cindy Williams had passed away, it really broke my heart. I went to high school, junior high and high school with Cindy. and. Um, yeah, you know, there was a whole whole bunch of those those really talented people in, in my school. Sally Field went to my school. Um, you know, a, a number of people like this. But when they would do a uh, you know like a, a a term play, like they would do the Miracle Worker or Brigadoon or something like that, when you would see somebody like Cindy performing at it, you'd kind of just go, "Wow!" It's like there's, there's all these kids acting, and then there's like those one or two where you're just kind of going, something's going to happen there with them. I mean, they're just above and beyond everybody else. And Cindy was like that. It was really uh, heartbreaking to hear that she had passed away. Um, we've been losing so many really wonderful, talented people over this. This year started rough. I mean, there's, there's a lot of people are, have, have gone. And uh, my heart's with her family and uh, and her friends and uh, it's just uh, it's a tough one but uh, thank you for your legacy you know you brought a lot of joy to a lot of people in your life so 
Um, so I'm going to get going now. I'm going to, it's, uh, we got about, I think we leave in an hour, head to sound check and, uh, then, uh, do our show and then drive to El Paso. So take good care, all my best wishes, and I will hopefully be putting another video up um, later on in the, in the afternoon or evening tonight of the venue. And we'll see, once I get there, I'll know what we're getting into. So take good care, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.